these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Christmas memories. Hey, what's going on, RBG fam? Bam! Welcome to Vlogmas Day number two. two, two we are the two, RBG two, fam. My name is Robert, aka ODM. I'm Vanessa, aka the Heine. And we are the RBG fam. As we mentioned um, yesterday, we uh, actually filmed our Thanksgiving trip, and it was good. The Thanksgiving part at home. Yeah. But Thursday things started night. going wrong when we took off. Mm -hmm. On the way there, our son ended up getting sick. So I'm pretty sure my niece Delilah got the bug from preschool, which Elijah goes um, to the same preschool, but he didn't get it. Mm -hmm. So my niece had it, both of my nephews, then my mom my got mom it. Got I think it. my sister-in-law and my brother got it. Yeah. So they were all kind of getting over it Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, like thank God we didn't get it. Thank God Elijah didn't get it from school. Well, I spoke too soon. First off, you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. And even if you've been coming by, please hit the subscribe. Maybe you yes. forget. This is your reminder, guys, because uh, that definitely helps us out too as well with our growth process. Thanksgiving 2019. Yay. RBG fam, Joshua Tree. Let's get it. Say happy Thanksgiving to the fam. Happy Thanksgiving, fam. What do you think, Paul, for? Thank you. Say, I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for. What are you thankful for? Yes. For what? For your car? <laughs> yeah, I brought him this, like, you know, those, like, really cheap, like, remote control cars at, like, Walmart yesterday, and he, like, loves it. You're thankful for your car. Earlier, what did you say you were thankful for this morning? When we got it. What did you say you were thankful for? Um. Remember this morning when I was asking you? What'd you say? I said I'm um, shrug. No, he said he was thankful for food. And that's very good. We should be thankful for food because there are a lot of people that cannot afford to buy any food. Or not, do not have food. So that is one thing that I am actually thankful for, for food, my husband, my family, just being alive. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, hang on. What about to the fan bam? Oh, hi fan bam. Happy Thanksgiving, I just woke up, you tell. So did I, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rainy Thanksgiving. But Babe, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my health, first and foremost, beautiful family, and you guys. Yes, and the fam bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam bam, so I have to start with my cooking. I actually woke up later than I planned on waking up. It's already almost, it's about to be nine, and I have to make stuffing. I have to make Brussels sprout casserole. I have to make my sweet potato casserole, and all of that kind of takes time. And I wanted to make a homemade pumpkin pie. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to make that. I'm trying to be at my parents' house by 12.30. I still have to take a shower and get ready, get my child ready, get my husband child ready. Just kidding, he gets ready by himself. And I woke up and my fingers were hurting so bad. And I'm like, great, I have to get up and cook right now. And I'm like, my fingers hurt. But they do hurt really bad. So I was trying to like warm them with my coffee so they could start to feel a little bit better because I got to get to cooking. Are you gonna help me cook, babe? Yeah, of course. Right. Don't I always? <laughs> All right, Bam Bam, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with making my pumpkin pie. I have not made a homemade pumpkin pie in a very long time. I am actually going to make the crust, put it in here, and um, everything else inside. And I have my helper! I'm that. <laughs> Elijah! Are you ready to help mom? Yeah! Gotta have mommy! Sorry, I could not record everything that I was making, but I am done and I have to hurry up and go get ready now. So here is all of the stuffing. I just have it in the warmer. And here is my Brussels sprouts with bacon. Oh my gosh, you guys, it tastes so freaking good. Last but not least, here is my pumpkin pie. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure how it came out, but 
Elijah! I'm sure it'll taste good. Meanwhile, as I'm cooking, his hair is full of gel. And what, you have an owie now? You need a Band-Aid? Drama King. Okay, let's put your Band-Aid on. Why don't you take a shower first and then we'll put your Band-Aid on because it's gonna fall off in the shower. We gotta go get ready for Thanksgiving. Hurry and wash your hair. All right, let's go. Hey, 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 let me get up on here. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. So I've been up all this morning slaving in the kitchen. Woo! Make, yeah, make, right. make it pumpkin pie. <laughs> nah, the hyena's been doing her thing. What's this? The leftovers? Yeah, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough room in the pie for it. Before we do, though, guys, I just want to say good morning. Happy Thanksgiving for me personally and the hyena and the whole RBG family. It is crazy right now. It is raining, guys. Look at the pool. The pool is, is man, it's almost filled. Like, seriously, look at it. The edge right there. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if it just like overflows or what, or if it will. It probably will, it's supposed to be rain raining all day today. But we're on our way to my mother-in-law's right now. My mom's gonna meet me there. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you there. I better hurry up before the hyena gets upset. I gotta take this to the truck. All right, fam bam. So Robert had to borrow my dad's jacket for a Christmas intro. And he was like, hey, did we show up your dad's jacket? I'm like, yeah, it's hanging in the closet. He's like, okay, I'm gonna wear it. So. Um, we're kind of curious to see if my dad recognizes it when we walk in. <laughs> he ain't gonna recognize his greatness. He ain't ever seen greatness in his jacket before. The funny thing is, he has like a couple of jackets like that too. But you really need one of those, babe. Hey, if you don't notice, <laughs> I'm wearing it the rest of the year. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're just pulling up at my mom's house and we're right on time. 1.30 and it's 1.30. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. <laughs> the calm before the storm right here. Look at Berta, what you got, Berta, what you got? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you see the turkey? Ooh, did you fry it? No, it's smoked. Oh, you smoked it. Thumbs up, fan fan, for the smoked turkey right here. Ooh. It's like a little face right there. Try it. Dang. You gotta take a piece. Mmm. Try it out. Look at that, though. Ooh. You never smoked a turkey before, you should try it. Some people fry it, but this one, some people don't like to taste the turkey because you got to put extras on it to make give it flavor. What flavor did you put it's on it? It's injected with the, that, uh, the butter, uh, garlic butter, and all kinds of stuff, rosemary, all that. All right, guys, my mom just got here. Hey, mom, what'd you bring? Me, myself, and my appetite. No, I dropped everything off oh, the you other day. Hi, baby. Yeah, sorry. Hi, baby. Happy <laughs> Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Grandma. This is my nephew's first Thanksgiving. Ace! It's your first Thanksgiving! No, he stares. Ah, there she is! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, my dear. Be always beautiful as always. Hey, where's Uncle's hug? Where's Uncle's hug? Diggy, diggy, me! Look at how cute! Corona's a finest makeup artist. Uh-huh, hit her up, hit her up, Irma. Okay, Irma okay. Nicole. Irma Baca Nicole. Wait, only in Corona though? <laughs> yeah. I got Say what's up to the fan band. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Mimosas, okay. My mom's cut, the hostess with the mostest, but if you don't mind. It's my mom's. <laughs> Had to taste this. That's good. You guys ready to go camping? Yup. Uh, what time are you guys leaving? We're down here. No tragos for you right now? No. Thank you for pouring all your blessings on our family, Father, and I pray that we have many more Thanksgivings and protection. time together, Father. Protection. I pray for protection over my entire family, that you keep them all safe. Amen. Amen. Nice. Oh my gosh, good job, Christopher. You're going to make me cry. Hey, Lord Jesus, I'd like to pr uh, pray for the Rams. Uh, may they rest in heaven. Damn. Somebody wanted to join our Thanksgiving after all? Uh-huh. Good morning, fam bam. It is Friday, Black Friday. Early in the morning, about 6.15. We are preparing. Well, actually, we're already prepared. We're just getting the last stuff out the house into the trailer because we're heading to Joshua Tree. It's our annual Thanksgiving camping trip. We got about maybe 10 trailers out there. We were gonna leave last night, but it was super raining, so we decided to sleep in a warm bed 
and leave uh, this morning. Now, from what I have already checked on the weather, it says it's going to be about 25 to 35 miles per hour winds out there with gust winds up to 55. So I'm like, I'm trying to get there because that starts at 9 a.m. I ain't trying to be like Dorothy and Toto from Wizard of Oz, you know what I mean? Oh my God, we're going into yes, the fog. All right, fam bam, so we just got in the car and we are actually truck and we're headed out and it's so foggy out here. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> it actually looks worse in person. I wonder if it snowed up there because it was supposed to snow at midnight a little bit. Hope not, we'll be slipping and sliding. <laughs> to pass. Oh, it's kind of bright. Oh my gosh, fam bam, so we just got, where are we at, babe? Joshua Tree now? Yeah. And there's snow on the side of the road. Oh my goodness! Babe, I want to stop. Let's go have a snow fight real quick. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> so, you don't really remember snow. <laughs> you put it, hi, baby. <laughs> Sleepy, baby. I know you are. You fell asleep. That's okay. We're almost there, okay? Baby, you about to get in a fight or what? Yeah. <laughs> so we're at this campground getting water. Paid our money. And these guys are being jerks. Acting like I, so I don't know where the other water uh, boss is at. And I get over here and he goes, Aya. it's over there on the other side of the building. And I go, dude. Well, now he, said it with more, he said it with more attitude. Yeah, he was, he was apt to. Yeah, for sure. Now they're driving around in their, their patrol cars. Look at them. I'm patrolling. Mm -hmm. They hating. At least we paid. Shoot, we paid for the water. There he goes. Is that him? Yeah, that's the older man that was the with him. Man. Ranger Rick. Ranger Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting for Greg to fill up his water tank, and then it's our turn, and then we'll be reunited with the rest of the fam. You guys, it is so cold and windy out here, and these kids are going on a ride. They're crazy. Attention, Mr. and Mrs. Chamoy. Gangster. You know Desiree is gangster. You knew Desiree was gangster like that. I'm lying. Is that mine? Yeah. What, did I leave it at the wedding? No. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I must have been drunk. So if you guys don't remember, we'll leave it up in the left-hand corner. It was Priscilla and Fred's wedding when we were in it. And uh, yeah, I just got handed this knife. Every year we come out, uh, somebody has to get a new toy. There's the hyena, I was just asking about you. Oh, the guy. sweater though, the sweater. Get your RBG fan merch. What's going on, fam fam? Happy Saturday, the sun is shining, feeling good, it's 40 degrees. We're out here making some papas and bacon, you know what it is. Got boo boo on the grill. Oh. Got Jaime hung over. Oh. Moral support, Jaime. <laughs> Right. Hey Jaime, how come you fell asleep last night standing up? I don't know. What's up? No worries? What, the camera's on you right now? <laughs> Damn! I can't see what they're <laughs> Mr. Chamoy? <laughs> okay, alright. Let me see you go for a little spin. I'll get you on slow motion. So one thing about my generator, guys, as you can see right there, it's pretty loud. You can hear it that it's on right now. But I'm not gonna take that, give that all the credit. 
because Greg's is on too. This is right there. But they always get clowned because I got the loudest generator. Hey, did you video get the generator going? Hey, I can't hear. Tell them uh, I got the best generator in the campsite. If you want one, you'll get right in right now for 700. You better go fund me pay. Go fund me pay. <laughs> At least it's clear. Because he hasn't really eaten because his tummy's been hurting. Alright, my love. Okay, let's get your clothes off, okay? I'm ready to go home. Huh, oh, after that? Yeah. I think I wish we could just pack up the bag right now. Let's go, I'm down. Bam Bam, we just got home right now. It literally took us three hours to get home because there was just so much traffic by like the Morongo area and like the Cabazon there was like they have those outlets there so people are like Black Friday Friday shopping Christmas shopping right Christmas shopping I'm out of breath because I've been hauling all of our luggage upstairs got Elijah in the bed my little buddy right there and um, I have to say I am happy to be home because I really love my bed and the fact um, that we are home, if anything does really seriously happen to Elijah, um, where it's more serious and we do have to take him to the hospital, we are a lot closer um, and more familiar, obviously, because we're back at home. And his doctor is also close by as well. So, happy to be home, you guys. <laughs> How's my little buddy feeling? Good. Good. Are you okay, my love? Okay. Are you happy to be home? Yeah. I love you. So, um, on the way home, we were actually able to stop at my parents' house because, um, as you guys know, my brother and my sister-in-law live there, and their kids both had the same thing that Elijah has. Obviously, you know, when you have a family that's always together, they get sick together. <laughs> so her kids had this. I think my mom had it, my sister, my brother, uh, my other nephew. So I think it's going to be passing through our household now which sucks because i'm like oh great who's next robert or i um so yeah we stopped by their house um they had already went to the doctors to get medication which was perfect because i had a little bit left over so we grabbed that i already gave him the medicine and that's supposed to help with the vomiting he hasn't vomited um so i'm hoping we're going to be smooth through the night and once tomorrow night comes we will be done with the sickness i am crossing my fingers Cause he looks like he's feeling a little better already. Are you a dog? Please, mommy, in the world. Oh, I love you. I don't want you to be sick. If you're wondering, my big baby Layla, um, she decided to stay with my grandparents. She loves going to the desert, you guys. That's her favorite place to go camping. So, um, she asked if she can stay, and I said that's fine. I love my baby. And there it is, guys. That was our trip, our annual trip to um, Joshua Tree, the yes. dry lake. I always get it mixed up. Joshua Tree, 29 Palms. Dry lake. I don't know Sun what Fair, it is. Dry lake. <laughs> Sun you got to go through Joshua Tree to get to 29 Palms to get to the dry lake. So it's out that way. Towards Palm Springs if you guys live up north or anywhere outside. Yeah. yeah. We've been going there forever. If you guys don't know, which you guys probably don't, my dad's been going there since he was a child. And then he started taking us there. I right. think I was like in fifth or sixth grade. <sighs> Now I'm bringing my kids, my husband, like, yeah. it's just Great some, times. Yeah, memories. That made more of a reason for us to get a trailer. Speaking of by your dad, though, let's, let's add on to the things that went wrong besides mm -hmm. Eliza getting sick. During on Saturday, the day, during yeah. the day, his um, buggy broke down again. Again, it's the second year in a row. Yeah, they went on a long trip. So they like to go on long trips. Like, a lot of us, some of us will stay at the campground, and everyone with, like, bikes will just four take hours. off. Like, four or five hours. They left around 11. My dad didn't get back till 6 when we were leaving because he broke down. Mind you, it was snowing where they went, guys. It, it was Layla came cold. back, and she couldn't feel her hands. I felt so bad for my baby. I'm like, sit right by, like, in the, the heater and the trailer. I felt so bad for her. I, I think 
think she kind of wanted to cry, but she was really trying to be strong. Yeah. On the way back, they had to wait because my dad broke down. He yeah. First, he crashed into a bush, and Layla's like, all I saw was Raylene <laughs> in the bush because the steering wheel came first, off. The steering wheel came <laughs> off the, the buggy. So then he put the steering wheel back on, yeah. and then they're driving again. And then he crashed, and the tire came off. So at that point, somebody had to go and tow him. Yeah, boo -boo They were waiting there. forever. Had to tow him back at nighttime, and you can imagine how cold it was by then. It was freezing. Oh, and then the day before that, they decided to go on a little ride and homie over here <laughs> takes Delilah, yeah. Elijah, all and toddlers. Maya. They're all under the age of, I think Maya's like five. They're yeah. all little kids dressed for the cold day, yeah. not for the freezing desert cold night. We were only supposed night. to go in the vicinity, guys, but then I Ugh. see our whole pack just take off. I go, oh, they're probably just going right here to the sand hill. So I just started following them. By the time they the come way. back, it's already almost night, and when you drive at night in the desert, you need to be bundled the yeah. heck up with blankets. These kids just oh. had like sweats and like a, a hoodie on. <laughs> Elijah had moco. They all had moco. They were coming. red. They were freezing. Poor Maya started crying because she was so frozen in the back. I felt so bad. They were cold. So. When we got to the trailer, that's exactly where the Elijah went. Was straight to the heater. Straight too. to the little heater vent. <laughs> so what else went wrong? Uh, Gabriel, your cousin, shows up the first day and only day he was there and loses his keys. So he got there at 10:30 that Saturday when they went on the long trips. My cousin lost his keys. He drove up there in his car. I feel so bad for him. In the <laughs> desert, man, trying to call AAA. Like they don't go out to the desert. You know what I mean? Like it's considered off road. So. Triple A won't yeah. come until your car so I don't know what happened. Did so, they end up getting the key? Well, made? luckily, um, not luckily, because the situation just sucked if you lose your key. Um, Didn't I think Nando, lose Nando a key? lost a key One or of something. Our other acquaintances lost his key. So they had a locksmith come out and make him a key. Since he was there, Gabriel had to fork out $400 to make a spare key because your mama told you to make a key and you didn't. <laughs> Get him, cousin. Get him, cousin. Wait a minute, and last but not least, somebody got a knot on their head. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla, her my other cousin. other cousin, Priscilla. You know, everyone was drinking, having a good time. This is when we left, when we were on our way home last night. They decided to go on a night ride, okay? And it was wet, so it, you know, there was dips and stuff. So it's they nighttime. hit, they hit a big dip, and I guess she kind of flew up, turned, and literally hit her forehead yeah. on a metal bar. And I guess she has a huge bump the size of like, it yeah, looks like a unicorn. They said. Poor Sailor. So <laughs> I feel like it was def it was just a disaster weekend. That's it guys for Vloggers Day number two. Thank you guys for watching. Be ready for tomorrow. We're going to have something else hot for you guys. But other than that, let's get into our post notification shout out. And our shout out today goes to Brenda McKay. Hey, hey Brenda McKay. Okay, okay, Shout out to you girl. Thank you so much for watching our vlogs. We love you for that. If you want a post notification shout out, all you got to do is one, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Two, hit that little bell button so that every time we post, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment down below. Hashtag the RBG fam. I can't stress it enough. The merch is out right now. Get them for Christmas, man. They up there. Shop RBGFam.com. Sweaters, tees, pop sockets. Don't knock it. Just rock it. <laughs> All right, we done. Take them out. We baby. love you guys. Bye. <laughs>